So let me be a little bit more clear. Okay, so let me clear up exactly what happened and why I'm leaving. I'm not asking for my district for more money, okay? My district is paying me a salary that is subsidized because I didn't start at the beginning of the year. But the way that they have the payroll set up is that whatever your annual salary is, they divide that to give you equal checks, two equal checks a month, all the way till next August. Most districts I've taught at give you the option to choose nine months or 12. This district does not. You are only allowed to, you have to do the 12 month pay periods. Normally that wouldn't be a problem if I was making a full annual salary, but because my salary is very, very much smaller than what it would normally be, because I didn't start at this school at the very beginning of the school year because I just moved, um, they are taking that smaller salary and still stretching it all the way till next August. So I'm not asking my district for any to pay me anything extra. I'm asking them to change the pay schedule so that way every month, every pay period, my checks are more than $1,100, okay? $1,100 is what I was making after taxes. So that's the situation. People say, well, why would you agree to that when you got hired? I didn't. When I got hired, my district did not send me any paperwork. They didn't send me my contract. They didn't send me insurance, anything like that. And I wasn't sure what was what. So I emailed them over and over and over again, asking for verification of how much money I was making. And they kept saying, nope, you have to email this person. You have to forward this to this person. You'll need to contact payroll department to inquire about that, okay? I finally got tired and just kept forwarding it so they could see how many times I had to reach out to somebody different to answer my question. And of course, I didn't realize um, what was happening as far as payroll goes. So when I first got paid, I was like, where's the rest of my check? And they're like, that is your check. You agreed to that. No, the hell I didn't. So one thing I'm going to do is always keep receipts. Okay. So I have my receipts. I have my evidence or whatever. And I am probably going to move forward with asking them how they can change this for other teachers. But right now I feel very defeated. And um, I'm just gonna probably rock with my side hustle, serving and bartending for a while. But I love teaching and I love my kids and I hate that this happened. So thank you guys for your support. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a scenario that's been playing out across America, not only with teachers, but in many other industries. The biggest complaint, every time I do, stories on worker shortage or a labor shortage, which is essentially the same thing, or people, the great resignation, people leaving their jobs. The number one complaint is the poor pay in America. Not only do you see the stories, go down in the comment section. There's a lot of people unhappy with the salaries they get in America. America has done poorly in keeping up with the living wage out here. You know, it's almost like they want to force people into being a poor underclass. And you don't realize how hard it hits until you see these stories. It is the same thing over and over and over. The pay is poor. It's poor. And now many of these um, industries are trying to give raises, but you are now contending with inflation. It's like you came a day late in a buck short with that raise. So the raise is completely being swallowed by the inflation. And trust me, these stories, just like this teacher told, is more common than uncommon. In fact, you see an awful lot of it everywhere. You know, they try to make it seem like it's just retail that's hit the hardest and, you know, fast food. No, it is many sectors in America. They just give the biggest shine to retail and restaurants when you see these stories. They do. 
teacher salaries are not good. Just like when you see um, police officers, they don't make a good salary, you know? Now, once they get some seniority on them and then they've been there for a while, yes, but that is not always the case. And as you can see, this teacher hasn't even been there long, but she is not getting a salary that is even livable. So if you got to pay rent and you got to pay um, utilities and you have to pay for your groceries and you have children to raise, she said she made $1,100. That wouldn't even cover the average rent in America. So it's a good thing she got a side hustle where she works um, you know, at a restaurant. So she got something to fall back on, but I know that's not the case for everybody in America, but unfortunately greed takes precedence over giving people income they can live on. America has gotten an F in not keeping up with the times. And unfortunately, these folks came here with the mindset of having something for nothing, and they still believe in that. And you can tell they believe in, in that kind of thinking because of the way they pay people even today. You know, when you look at minimum wage, nobody should be given a pay that pathetically low. You know, so the job situation in America is one big mess with no end in sight of people coming back out and taking these jobs that are available all over the country, everywhere. But again, you know, I've been looking at these stories and doing these stories for quite some time now, and I have seen the comment section. Boy, people are not satisfied with their bosses. Some people said they were bullied on their jobs. They don't want to go back. Uh, women are saying they, they're not going to choose their job over raising their children. They're going to go home to be with their children and raise them. People are not looking at the workplace like they did before. Yeah, you got to earn a living, but that's why so many are looking for other ways to earn their money. You know, right after the first lockdown, they said Black people starting their own businesses in 2020 went through the roof. And I did the story recently on Americans at record numbers applying for business licenses. So if they, I guess if they can't get the money they want working for somebody, you're never going to get rich working for other people then they'll try to venture out on their own. And I don't blame anybody for taking a chance like that. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.